Hey y'all, Lily here. So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I was thinking about an idea of kind of like a blob challenge. So I'm gonna take some watercolor and just make some blobs. And then based on those blobs, we're going to look at it and kind of see what we can see in there and then use it as a, an inspiration for a painting. So that's the plan for today. Let's get started. Okay, so um, for this challenge, I decided to give myself a couple of options. I'm going to do one with um, cool colors, blues, purples, um, greens, and the other one, I'm going to do warm colors, reds, oranges, yellows. Um, just to give myself a couple of options as to which of the blobs um, I'm going to choose to paint. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, just using watercolor and water and making blobs. Alright, so I have finished both of the, the blob paintings and let them set overnight. Kind of flattened them underneath this um, notebook. So this is our cool color blob painting. Um, lots of blues and purples and greens and it's just really interesting and I can actually kind of see something when I look at this painting. And then our warm colors, very fire and flame. Um, but I think we're going to go with the cool color because this I think will be easier since I already see something in it. So when I look at this picture, I see a fish. So we're gonna sketch out the painting first or kind of give myself some ideas. Like right here I see fish lips. Um, above I see an eye. So once I get a little sketch going, then we are gonna get started and we're going to try not to change it too much, but then again, we'll see. So, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, I'm going to use the same color palette that I used to do the initial blob. Um, just trying to enhance the blobs, I guess. Um, we did put the yellow there on the palette, just in case we decide to use that. So, So at this point, I've basically just outlined and kind of highlighted where I see the fish. I haven't really changed the actual colors just a whole lot, but I've decided to go in and add scales. So that is going to change quite a bit, um, just to define and highlight where I see the fish. Um, this was a, a really fun challenge to do. Um, not sure everybody is like me, but when I see clouds or paint splatters or just texture in general, a lot of times I will see faces and animals and things like that, which I know everybody sees animals and clouds and stuff. Um, it's a really fun thing to do to sit and see if you go, oh, I see a turtle or whatever. Um, but that's kind of what made this challenge fun because it didn't take me long of staring at this blob painting to see the fish. 
um, with the warm colors, it took a little bit more. I haven't really stared at it very long, but I didn't instantly see something like I did with this one. So this was a really fun challenge um, to do. So getting close to being finished with it. Um, but then at the end, I'll show you the finished product. I did go in and add some, take some colored pencils and add some kind of see things in the background. So I did cheat a little bit with colored pencils, but really I'm happy with the result. Um, I'm going to call it Blobby. It's the name of the fish, Blobby Blue. But I hope you enjoyed it and maybe it will inspire you to do a blob challenge. Okay, so here he is. Here is Blobby Blue Fish. It's all done. Um, you can kind of see some of the little details I took and put in. Um, adding some little things in the background with the pencils. But he's all dry. He's all done. And that's Blobby. So that's it. That was the video. That was the Blob Challenge. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you did, like this video, comment, let me know what you liked. Um, let me know if you want me to do the warm color challenge because that will be much more difficult because I didn't see a cute little fish in there. Um, subscribe, like, comment, all those good things, and I'll see you next time. Or you'll see me next time.